If you find yourself stuck in your head a lot, not being able to be grounded, not being able to be present, maybe feeling anxious, tense, or disconnected, this is the video for you, so pay attention. In this, I'm going to give you a quick, quick, one minute to three minute little thing that you can do. It's an exercise that's gonna help you drop into your body, slow down, clear out all the thoughts going on in your mind so that you can actually gain the clarity you need to make the right decisions and feel the way that you're actually trying to feel, which is the best you possibly can feel every single day, right? You wanna feel abundant, you wanna feel good, you wanna feel energized and clear. So this is how you do it. I call this the Mason meditation method, and this is an active, meditation method that I learned from a book that I read called The Warrior's Meditation, and I made it my own. So in this Warrior's Meditation book, which I recommend you check out, it's by Richard L. Height. This is basically a meditation method that was used by the samurais before they would go into battle. You see a samurai, what do they do? They swing a sword around really fast, and any move that they make that is the wrong move could end up getting them killed. So what do they need to do? They need to stop thinking and they need to be in the flow state. Because of this, they created this warrior's meditation method that helped them drop into the flow state, into a meditative state of mind and being without having to sit and do ohms all day and they could do it actively. And so what this does is it takes us from what is called beta brainwave state, which is the focus state. Most of the people in the US, for example, live in beta and that's why stress is so high. When you dump a bunch of caffeine into your body, you end up in the beta brainwave state. It's hyper-focused, hyper-aggressive, and it's like tunnel vision. We can't hear our intuition in that state. Where we hear our intuition is an alpha brainwave state, and that's an expanded, slowed down, more intuitive and relaxed state where the tunnel vision finally expands out. And that's what this meditation method is going to be for. Let's do this together. Let's just jump right into it. What you're gonna do is no matter where you're at right now, you can sit if you want to, you don't have to. You can just stand as well. But we're gonna drop you into alpha brainwave state. This is how we do it. So close your eyes first, wherever you're at. I want you to feel into your body. Put your awareness in your feet, scan it up to your calves, your shins, up to your knees, front and back, your hamstrings, your quads, your pelvic area, your butt, lower back, your belly, especially your gut, because this is where you connect to truth. Feel into that belly button, that navel area. Go up into your chest, your upper back, your traps, your shoulders, your biceps, triceps, forearms, wrists, hand, fingers. Now take that awareness up to your neck, front, back, up to your ears, back your head, your face from your chin, relax your jaw, your cheeks, relax, your nose, your eyes, your forehead and your eyebrows, relax, top of your head, now I want you to take that awareness and I want you to imagine a white light above your head. Scan that white light from the top of your head all the way through your body. All of those points that you just hit with your awareness, tap into all of them. Down your feet all the way back up like a radar going up and down. Now while you do this, I want you to focus on your breath. Your deep inhales in, hold for four seconds at the top, four, release, four seconds out, four seconds at the bottom, hold. Back in for four, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, release, three, two, one, Hold, three, two, one. Resume normal breath while you focus on your whole body. 
Now open your eyes and look at me. While you look at me, and you feel into your body and your breath, you may already be noticing a state change, a slowdown. I want you to expand your peripheral vision and I want you to see everything around you while you still see me, still focusing on your body, still focusing on your breath. I want you to hold this state. Add in taste. What may you taste in your mouth without attaching to it? What do you hear around you without labeling it, letting it come into your ears without trying to name the sound? Just being here, looking at me, your peripheral vision expanded in your body, in your breath. I want you to be fully present in this moment with me. I want you to snap. And so if you maintain this state, I feel amazing right now. I don't know how you feel. It's a high chance that you feel a little more relaxed and centered and grounded. If you can maintain this state throughout your day, there's going to be multiple things that happen. One, you're going to gain way more insights. You're going to have way more clarity, way more connection to your intuition. It's going to tell you what you need to do. It's going to tell you where you need to go. It's going to tell you who you are. This is going to give you a sense of knowing. The next thing that's going to happen is that you will become more magnetic. You'll be able to communicate more clearly, smoothly. People will be magnetized to you for your ability to be at peace. Because what a real leader is, is someone who is able to sit with a lot of tension, with a lot of responsibility. And people will come to them for guidance. It's an energetic thing. Maintain this state as long as you can throughout the day. And even better, I want you to set a few alarms throughout your day to remind you at random time intervals to tap back into this state. And every single time you do, remember to do some of this. All right? Do some of those snaps. My fingers are wet right now. But when you snap, you create an anchor. And what an anchor is, if you ever listen to people like Tony Robbins, it's a way to connect a feeling to your subconscious and experience externally a stimulus to a state of being, right? So if you do this enough, if you tap into this state every day and you see that it didn't take very long at all, you can start to snap and associate that state of being with the snap naturally. And you won't have to try and get into it. And this with the holds, you can actually include breath work at some point if you want. That's up to you. That's what makes it more Mason meditation method. When you bring this all together, you're going to turn yourself into a vacuum that is going to allow you to not only slow down, get clarity, feel grounded, feel present, but more than anything, live the life that you're truly wanting to live. That's all I got for you on this one.